What is so special about these P and B shapes? Common wisdom about the P shapes on a market profile chart is that it suggests short covering. See, anything you observe on a chart needs to be put in the right context. This crucial step is ignored by many traders very, very conveniently. The catch is, while a P shape does suggest short covering, it can imply some really different things depending on the surrounding context. We are in an uptrend and the chart sees multiple P shapes forming one after the other. Now, in this particular case, what I believe is going on is the laggards. They are trying to buy here. They are chasing the price. And this late buying is used by the smart traders to actually establish their selling positions. Now, when we are in a downtrend and if we are forming P shapes on a pullback, this is where you can say that, yes, this is a result of short covering. How? Because again, these same laggards who were chasing the price up, now they are chasing the price down. What happens is after some time, prices do not go lower. And this is where these guys will panic. As soon as they cover their shots, they again use these higher prices to establish their short positions. And the downtrend is likely to resume. Market is consolidating. Here, obviously, we are expecting supply to come in at the top and demand to come in at the bottom. What happens is as we try to break out of this, particular consolidation, all these sellers who are selling just looking at the top of this consolidation, they are short. And if the prices start to accept above the consolidation, they start to panic and they will start to cover. Here the smart money is actually not selling. Who are selling is people who believe that this is not a real breakout and the market is again going to come back down. People who bought here or people who bought the breakout but are unable to, you know, hold on to their long trades, they will try to book their profits. And that creates some supply and that results to formation of P shapes. At best, you will get a small pullback and the trend will resume back up. So now the same thing happens when a B shape is forming on a chart. All right. So what is happening when the market is in a downtrend again? Sellers are coming in. The laggards start feeling the pressure. They start to throw in their positions and B shape starts coming in. What this suggests is that the laggard selling which is happening on these days is being absorbed by smart money buying. And then obviously you can see at least a pause or a temporary reversal in the markets. Now, if the market is in uptrend and you see some sort of exhaustion and market goes down and starts to form B shapes, this actually is a very good opportunity to buy. Now, if you're looking at a consolidation and you see that the prices, they come down, obviously at the lower end of the consolidation, buying is going to come in. At the top of the consolidation, selling is going to happen. Now, if the market, instead of bouncing back from the bottom of the consolidation breaks through, accepts below the consolidation, this is where, you know, those who have bought at the bottom, they will start to panic and they'll throw in their positions and B shapes will occur if someone who sold at the top or someone who sold his breakdown, they start to cover their position. But usually after this initial profit booking phase, the trend might accelerate. Once again, you need to put all the surrounding market action in proper context. You need to look at the bigger picture, the whole picture to be able to make some assessment about what exactly is happening in the markets. Since the current context is of a down move, what we want, P shapes will be good to reposition ourselves with the trend, the current downtrend. And B shapes, if they are forming at a place where they are breaking out of a small range, then again, they are very useful. So let us see if anything of that sort is happening. This is the bank nifty profile chart. Now, this is that consolidation from where the market started moving up. And let me make it a little better. Now, here you can see the market consolidates. And when it is trying to break out to the upside, you see a P shape. Now, this is not completely out of the range, which I would prefer, but it's not. But still, looking at the follow through afterwards, you can say that, okay, this particular short covering, all right, 
this is happening because selling is coming in this is happening because on the previous day there was a late spike down and here the laggard sold and now they were panicking because market did not go down in fact it opened up and now they are covering and who's using all right uh, this opportunity to sell obviously someone who bought here thinking that this is just a late panic it won't sustain someone who bought here someone who may have bought a few days earlier in this range and they saw it coming back down from this top again and they are again seeing price going there they might feel okay uh, we bought here did not sell here but this is now a good opportunity to sell so all that supply is creating this p shape unfortunately uh, the smart money wanted the prices to go a little bit higher and the trend did not stop here and it just continued up this is the 17th of december all right now if i just squeeze this a bit let me draw uh, these consolidations for you once for your reference so we had this one consolidation which was a little bit higher we had the second consolidation which was a little bit lower and then we had this break down from the consolidation which formed a p shape again when we saw this range and we saw this b shape forming when the market was breaking out of the range we knew that someone who shorted here in this zone they will try to book profits short term uh, traders obviously not the longer term traders so if you are trading from a long term and you shorted somewhere here you should expect a b shape to form and this b shape is not immediately going to give you a reversal why because it is just coming out of a range short term traders who sold here they are definitely going to cover their shorts here and that will create this b shape kind of a profile and then obviously if you just uh, zoom out you will see this was our b shape this was the consolidation and then there was fair bit of follow through to the downside if you screw up the context you will be positioned in the market for exactly the wrong thing are there only p shapes and b shapes on a market profile chart or do we have some other letters also well the answer is yes i have found two more shapes that are occurring on the charts quite frequently and those are q shapes and d shapes now if you want to learn about q and d shapes then i suggest you subscribe to this channel because a video on q and d shapes will be dropping very soon and you will be alerted for that video if you subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up to this video share it with your friends and colleagues so that they can also uh, find out about this useful uh, you know tip about market profile